the differentiability and the total differential. Differentiality and the total differential. What is differentiability for uh, the multiple multi, multiple variable um, functions? Uh, recall that um, in single variable calculus. Uh, y equals fx is differentiable uh, if and only if its derivative exists. Is that true for the for the multivariable calculus? Mm, that may not. Uh, the definition. First, uh, we get the definition of differenti differentiable of uh, several variable functions. If z equals f x y, we uh, is a multiple is a function of two variable of x and y. This function is differentiable. Uh, at some point, like x z, x naught, and y naught. Uh, that means that means the increment of z should equal the f, uh, the partial derivative of x at x naught, y naught, times delta x, the increment of x plus f y x naught y naught times uh, the incremental y and plus epsilon 1 times delta x plus epsilon 2 times uh, times delta y uh, and provided that f x and f y exist here, epsilon 1 and epsilon 2 uh, tends to 0, or uh, tend to 0, uh, as both delta x and uh, delta y are priority to 0. That's the different differentiable at one point. If fx, if z equals fx y is differentiable at every point, at every point on a on a domain or on a set, then we see and when, then we see that the function is differentiable on that on that set or on that domain. Uh, when the function is differentiable. Uh, by the definition, maybe uh, it's not uh, it's not easy to verify that the function is differentiable. But there is a theorem states that if the partial derivative, uh, the two partial derivative are continuous. If the two partial uh, derivative derivatives are continuous on a set or in its domain, in its domain, then we see the, and then we can uh, see that. Uh, it's domain D. Then we say that F is differentiable. On D. 
if the two partial derivatives are continuous in its domain d, or and then f is differentiable on, on d, or maybe some subset of domain. But that is actually it's a it's a set. Uh, we we will not uh, prove this prove this theorem. We just state state the theorem. And there is another theorem. Uh, can uh, consider about the differentiable and the continuous theorem two. If z equals f x of y is differentiable at some point x naught y naught, then the function is continuous is continuous at that point. The, ver the reverse is not true. Uh, the, uh, the function is continuous at, at that point, cannot, uh, cannot, uh, cannot ver uh, verify that the function is differentiable. But the function is differentiable, then the function is continuous. That means the, conti the continuity is a necessary condition for differentiable. Uh, by the uh, definition we know, uh, we, we can uh, prove the, this theorem directly. And there's, uh, after the, uh, we get the definition of differentiable, we have the, uh, we have the definition of total differential, Dif total differential. What is the total differential? If z equals f x of y is differentiable, then uh, we define dz equals f x x y dx plus f y x y dy is a total differential. We call this a total differential. Of z equals f x y. is called total total differential of z equals f x y. Uh, the total differential uh, can be used to approx approximate a uh, function at some point. That's the linear approximation is something like uh, something like the linear approximation in single variable calculus. Actually, actually, uh, delta z uh, op uh, can be op approximated by dz at some point. Or uh, f x plus delta x y plus delta y can be approximated by f x y plus f x as f x y uh, delta x plus f y x y delta y and actually the dx is actually d delta x and the delta x and delta y is the dy 
this is a linear approximation of uh, of multivariable functions. That's linear approximation of c equals f x y. Now let's see some examples. The first example that is. If z equals x square y plus y square, first we find the dz. The solution actually just takes the, der uh, the partial derivative. We have fx equals 2xy and fy equals x squared plus 2y so dc equals 2xy dx plus x squared plus 2y dy that's the total differential uh, for functions of three variables that's actually uh, actually the same or similarly if w equals x plus sine y over 2 plus e of y z if we want to find the d w the solution that is f x equals 1 f y equals uh, 1 half cosine y over 2 and f oh that's another part plus z e of y z and f z f z is uh, y e of y z so d w that is dx plus one half cosine y over two plus z e of y z and times dy plus f z d z y e of y z times d z. We don't need this bracket. That's the total differential. Actually, it's for uh, the partial derivative for every independent uh, for every independent variable and times the increment of the independent variables. And the third example we uh, look for uh, and the, the applications for the linear approximation. Uh, if z equals x y square uh, approximate z 0 0.503 and uh, 1.004 we can view that the x equals 0 0.5 and y equals 1. And the delta of x is 0 0.003 and the delta of y is 0 0.004. So let as by the linear approximation that x plus delta x y plus delta y that is uh, all uh, approximate that is f x y plus f x that's x y delta x plus f y x y delta y so here f x that is y square f y is 2x y 
So at x equals 0. Point, now x equals 0. 0.5 and y equals 1. So f1 plus 0. Point, point 0.3 uh, that's 0 0.5 plus 0 0.0 0 0.003 that's y is 1 plus 0 0.004 so that is f uh, 0 0.5 and 1 plus fx at 0 0.5 1 then times uh, 0 0.003 plus f y that's 0 0.5 and 1 that's 0 0.004 the f 0 0.5 and 1 that is 0 0.5 and f x that is y squared. Y squared is 1 times 0 0.003. And fy 0 0.5 and 1. That's 2 times 0 0.5 times 1. That is 1. That's times 0 0.004. So that, uh, that is 0 0.5007. That's the linear approximation by the total differential. That's uh, a little like the single variable calculus.